Hey y'all, we back again with another video. This time we're gonna go for a more peachy look on hooded eyes. So her brows are already done and I like the way she did them. That's why I complimented her. So I'm just now taking the concealer and I'm shaping the bottom of her brows. And you remember that I told you that it's the shade lighter underneath and then her foundation shade on the top. So you won't have that halo brow. Don't nobody do that no more. Cancel that whole trend. It's a no for me. Now I'm simply just blending that concealer out. And when you do so, make sure you have a nice fluffy brush. Now I'm just taking my toner and I'm making sure her face is all nice and clean before I start adding the primer and foundation. And this is simply just a primer, foundation. Y'all already know my routine by now if you've seen my last video. If not, check it out. I like to apply foundation with a brush. And this is a fluffy angle brush by Peaches and Cream. Peaches and Cream has the best brushes to me. I love their brushes. Now I'm just taking the same concealer I used underneath her brows and I'm putting it in her highlighted areas on her face, which is underneath the eyes, down the bridge of her nose, like right in between her eyebrows, like the center of her forehead, and her chin. And for this brush, you can tell that it's a flat concealer brush. You can see the how now I'm blending, I'm pressing it into the skin. When you press the product into the skin like that, it just looks more blendable. You can tell like instead of like swiping it, Pushing the product in really does like the best job for coverage. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing with the sponge. I'm pressing the product in, and you can see how that coverage is now to my liking. No creases, anything like that. To make sure the skin is all even, remember I told you to blend out those edges of the concealer with the foundation brush. Now I'm just adding my setting powder. On the next video, I'm gonna show you guys what I use. Now I'm just gonna zoom in so I can show you guys more of like the detailing in the eyes. So I'm taking a nice fluffy brush, blending brush for the eyes and I'm just distributing the color on both eyes. Now I'm just brushing it out, blending it out, making sure everything is even. And I'm also taking a smaller brush to make sure that the brow concealer is blending into the eyebrows. Now I'm taking a little darker orange. I'm just gonna pack that on with a lid, a lid brush. It's hard when you're doing makeup because it's, you gotta know the difference between your brushes. For the eyes, I'm using more of like a blending brush in the crease, a flat brush for the lid. So when it comes to eyeshadow, you want to make sure that you're building up that color to your liking, but at the same time, you're making sure that it's blending out. So you always want to have at least three brushes when doing eyeshadow. You see, I have the small fluffy brush to make sure everything is blended. I have a lid brush and I have a crease brush. I will show you guys the pictures. Well, I'm gonna stop and show you guys later on in this video. And this is gonna make sure that everything is even, evenly blended on your eyes. So now, you know, I'm just tight lining the eyes for lashes. Before, I never used to do this, and you can see sometimes like the gap in between the eyeshadow and the um, lash if you don't take this step. So that's why I do it like now all the time. Like it's the must do, like you have to, just so you won't see that gap in between their real lashes and the false lashes. Now going back to touch up the eyeshadow, you wanna make sure after you apply the lashes that you can still see the eyeshadow and that it's blended properly when taking, you know, putting the lashes on. Putting too big of a lash can sometimes take away from the look, so you want to always make sure you go back and make it pop. Show you guys the brushes that I did use. That's the blending brush, lid brush, crease brush. 
Those are the three brushes you must have when doing eyeshadow. Since this is more of a subtle look, I decided to do a powder contour on her. So I'm taking a darker shade powder and I'm just sweeping it around her outer face. So you know, all in the, con the contour areas. Now just waterlining her eye. If somebody has natural different color eyes, their eyes are very sensitive. So you have to move quick. Now just taking off that setting powder. I'm just using the leftover foundation brush that I have. I'm not adding any more product to it. I find this easier to apply, I mean to sweep away the foundation. Then you want to always make sure you go back and contour just to add that color back because you might have lost it when taking off the powder. In this video, you might see her laughing a lot because, you know, we enjoy conversation when, you know, getting our makeup done. It's always a good time with me. I always like to have nice conversations with my clients to get that type of, you know, that connection. So now I'm just adding the setting powder underneath, underneath her cheekbones so I can give it a little bit more structure. Now I'm just adding that color back. Do, to do the nose contour, you want to make sure that you go like a little shade like lighter than the contour and you want to do it down the sides of the nose and then i'm taking the foundation brush not adding any more product and i'm just sweeping away the setting powder underneath so now you want to put the setting spray on your sponge and just go over the face with the setting spray in the sponge i don't like to spray their face directly anymore i feel like this is easier because i'm pressing the setting powder or well, setting spray into her face now just adding some color underneath her eyes. I'm taking that same crease shade and I'm just sweeping underneath her eyes. Now lining the lips with cork. <laughs> this is so funny because we was having a real hilarious conversation, y'all. It be lit. So I like to do the same lip combo most of the time. So that nude with a little pink. Now adding the blush and the highlight. And then, boom. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, you know, I got something else coming for you this week. Like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in my next video.